The main sponsor of the show is MVM Group. Virtuosos is sponsored by BMW, ADM Audio, and Met Group. 11 young classical music talents from five countries in front of world star judges. This is the Virtuosos Visegrad 4 Plus Final. Hungarian, Czech, Polish, and Slovak competitors and young Ukrainian talents displaced by war. They are the future of classical music. A larger jury than ever, headed by the world famous opera singer, Maestro Placido Domingo. We are very, very touched, I'm sure. Hauser. You are improving. Each year you get better, so mm -hmm. we are very proud of you. Dimash. I think he was born to change this world. Erika Miklosha, Andras Keller, Placido Domingo Jr., Gabriele Rachidi, Pablo Sainz Viegas, and Harvey Goldsmith. Absolutely brilliant. The show is hosted for the fourth year in a row by the queen of Polish shows, Ida Nowakowska. Hey, everybody, I'm here on Virtuoso stage. One winner per country, prizes totaling 50,000 euros, including a home recording studio system donated by ADM Audio and a number of performance opportunities. Six contestants have already taken to the stage. 11-year-old Hungarian pianist Adam Bolog impressed the judges with his technical proficiency. Absolute technical perfection. It's incredible. The absolute. You are absolutely an emblematic character of today's modern virtuosos. I was very much inspired by your playing, and there is something in your personality that you speak music. Malgorzata Czesko, 18 year old Polish oboe player, has also received a special invitation. I want to invite you, like my special guest, to my concert, if it's possible. Oh, if you're interested wow. about it. <laughs> yeah. oh. Take me with you, OK? Yeah. When you oh, play a concert. Of course. <laughs> Thank you so much. It was a, an excellent performance. You really transported me into an uh, English countryside. I think it's, it's beautiful the way you, you breathe into this instrument. Katarzyna Szwecowa, an 18-year-old Czech violinist, impressed the jury with her barefoot playing. Okay, and let me see. Barefoot again. Yes. Okay. I think first prize should be shoes. <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna get the best pair of shoes. <laughs> Golden, like Cinderella. What a beautiful performance. You made the violin sing. The generosity, the folk elements, elegance. I just wish you to keep this natural way of playing. Nina Bochkoyova, 15-year-old Slovak violinist, received her instrument as a gift at the show last year. Congratulations, Nina. It was many, many beautiful things in your performance. I was very much impressed by your sound. I loved it. It's a very warm, uh, touching sound. Your presentation and your performance was superb tonight.
Timofi Zerebtsov, a 19-year-old Ukrainian pianist who had to leave his home because of the war, always strives to play for peace. You gave a really powerful performance. You created a special atmosphere. It was uh, an incredible experience. I just hope that everybody will manage to go through these tough times. You are so powerful. Oli Lugosi, 24-year-old clarinetist, became the first absolute winner of the classical music talent show as a teenager and returned to the international virtuoso stage as a contestant after nine years. You are the first child of the virtuosos family. Mm -hmm. And the first child is always special, always surprise me. You are very confident, you are full of music. The joy that you brought forward to us and the way you performed it was absolutely brilliant. You are a, a great, great artist. To heal the souls of, of the public, and this is uh, one point, but, but to involve the public, another important point, and you involved all of us for your concert. It was really magical. So thank you very much. Thank and we are job. very, very proud of you. Thank you. And today, the show goes on. Five more contestants will take to the stage. Today, we'll find out who benefits from the 50,000 euro prize and who will be awarded the home studio sound system provided by ADM Audio. In addition, one of the world's smoothest songs will come to life on stage in an unprecedented joint production with the participation of our jury members and Ukrainian competitors. And I know that it is love. This is the Virtuosos Visegrad 4 Plus, the unique classical music talent show from Budapest. From the hall of Franz Liszt Music Academy, let the talent show continue. We are back with the final of the Virtuosos Visegrad 4 Plus. Tonight, we'll select the country winners of Hungary, the Czech Republic, Slovakia, Poland, and two special guests from Ukraine. The competition will continue very soon, but first, let's see what the best ones can win. The prize for the winners from the five countries, in addition to the gross 5,000 euro cash prize, is a home studio sound system by ADM Audio. The winners and the special prize recipients of the show shall perform with Concerto Budapest at the Grand Hall of the Academy of Music. Additionally, numerous other concert engagements and special awards will be granted. The prize for the runners-up is a Holohazy porcelain violin and a concert performance with the Hungarian Radio Symphony Orchestra at the Grand Hall of the Academy of Music. And now, a very special performance, perhaps a little unusual on the Virtuoso stage. A nine-year-old girl who amazed the whole world with her courage and the power of music. She did not want to be famous. She just sang, hiding from the bombing in a shelter to give hope and to make herself and the people over there forget the horror. In the shelter when the war started, I like to make people happy and I went to the chair, stand on it and sang Let It Go. And people liked it very much and they became happy. My name is Amelia Anisovich. I am nine years old. I'm a singer. I'm from Ukraine. This is Amelia. Hello. 
Hello, everybody. <laughs> Today I'm going to sing the song Let It Go from Frozen. I like Elsa because she has a strong personality. And all strong personalities are my favorite. Amelia is an amazing, very brave girl with a very beautiful and sweet voice. I think her greatest strength is her will to bring the light and beautiful music to this world. So it's amazing that we sing together. The first rehearsal with Alina was really nice. We had small problems, but we successfully solved it. When we smile, the sound, you know, is like a sun that shines. If so, this is how I will do it. I came to the virtuosos to make people happy. <laughs> My biggest dream is that the war in Ukraine ends and the soldiers return home. On stage, Amelia Onisovich from Ukraine. The snow glows white on the mountain tonight Not a footprint to be seen A kingdom of isolation And it looks like I'm the queen The wind is howling like the swirling storm inside Couldn't keep it in heaven knows I tried
Ведь зараз моя душа. Amelia, can I have a hug? Tak, yes. <laughs> oh, congratulations. It was beautiful. How does it feel like to first be in this crazy situation, totally different uh, for you than your normal life, to be in a bomb shelter, and then somebody asks you to sing? What did you feel then at this moment when you were singing? A girl just asked me to sing to make everybody else happy. So I did it. Because I really like this song and it made everybody happy at that time. So this is Amelka. She's really like this every day. She, from the second I met her, she became for me a symbol of hope and peace and courage. Erika, how did you feel seeing uh, her shine here? I have the same age uh, daughter, so it was so emotional for me, this moment. And you're an angel who has an effect how to open people's soul. This is the most important thing. You can open hearts, soul, and we need it very much. Mm. I'm surprised. Thanks for your talent. And uh, I think you was born to change this world and you can become very, very, very famous Spivachka. Ah. <laughs> Thank you. Your voice is very beautiful. You have a very good pitch. Mm. It's difficult, you know, at your young age. You chose a very difficult song that has a big change in range. And the important thing is that you always sing from your heart. You can have always technique and phrasing and have a beautiful voice, but you need to sing from your heart and that's what you just did for us. So I thank you very much. Thank you. You were such an incredible young lady. It was very emotional for of us, even though at the very end we sort of danced with you. You enlightened this room. And you were a representation of hope and love. It's not really easy what's going on, but it's never been easy. History is full of difficult moments and you remind us that we can turn into music and I think also music is something that heals us and that we turn into to make us feel better. Uh, so thank you for reminding us that we need music and that we need young generation. Thank you so much to both of you, ladies. That was beautiful and touching. After the performance, I had many warm and good words from the jury. The orchestra played so good. Um, I'm in a very good mood now. So, dear judges, uh, what did you think about this it's, performance? It's the confidence of an innocent. It's extraordinary for somebody that young to stand on a stage and perform in front of this wonderful orchestra without any fear and just push it over. It, it really is quite an amazing talent to do that. And I feel that uh, she's got a long way to go. There's a beautiful evidence for all of us how innocence is important in art. So I can wish for every young musician to keep as long as possible this innocency. I agree with you, Andras. I think uh, not only for, for young musicians, but for any artist, and uh, to be a, a reflection for people as well, to be vulnerable and to be humble. And, and you can only be humble through vulnerability. And in, in it's within that vulnerability that, you know, your humanity shines and is going to inspire others. And I think Amelia represents very much the values of virtuosos, which is, you know, using music as a way to bring a message of unity, peace, and hope. Congratulations. Such a wonderful performance. It was just touching. It was so beautiful, right? Absolutely, dear Amelia, congratulations. This is the power of music. With you, we can hear the whole world connect with music. 
in three minutes. It was a beautiful performance. Uh, I think that Elsa would love your dress. What do you think about it? No, no, of course. <laughs> of course? <laughs> of course! <laughs> yeah. How was it to sing with Alina? Very good. Alina has a beautiful voice. Thank you, Amelia. You also have such a beautiful, clear voice and such a beautiful presence. I believe that you will have an amazing, bright future. It's hard for me to ask you for points for Amelia, but I have to do so. So please uh, give her uh, the points that you would like to score her with. Our next contestant here at Virtuosos, also last year. It was a special experience for him as his little sister has just been born, so he dedicated his performance to her. We also learned about the virtuoso Czech musician that he trained his fingers in quite extreme ways. So please welcome again the Czech wall climbing clarinetist Andrej Toman. My name is Andrzej Toman. I play clarinet. I'm 17 years old and I'm from Czech Republic. So in my free time, I really like to do a sport uh, such as uh, rock climbing because it uh, strengthens my fingers, uh, which is like good for clarinet, for playing clarinet or any musical instrument. My last experience in Virtuosos was really good because I really enjoyed the time, I really enjoyed the playing with the orchestra and the stay here in Budapest. Last year when I was here, uh, my sister uh, was born. I really loved her. She's a miracle. <laughs> Since then, I really like to spend my time with her. I really like to be that big brother. Very nice to meet you. It's an honor for me to be a mentor for a clarinetist. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> One little detail uh -huh. for your playing, because I think for Koma it's very important the articulation. So if you yeah. like to try out to be as clear as possible mm -hmm. when you articulate, so it gets enough lightness yeah. into your okay. playing. Okay. Yeah? Would you like yeah, to I'll try it again? Yeah. Okay, mm -hmm. of course. So my experience with uh, my mentor, Madame uh, Dan Bogani, was really good. She gave me really helpful advice to, for my performance and I'm really happy that I could meet her because she's a great player and great person. I think André is a very talented clarinetist. He has a lot to say. He seems to be already very relaxed on stage, so he acts very relaxed and he tells his story, which is so important, and I wish him all the best and good luck. I'm not trying to compete against anybody, against Katarina. I just wanted to enjoy the time in Budapest, enjoy my performance, enjoy the performances of other guys, maybe learn something new. On stage, Andre Toman from the Czech Republic.
André, how do you feel? <laughs> I feel great. You feel yeah. great? I, I think so. <laughs> I have to tell you that I saw uh, André when he was walking on stage and he was so confident, but in this good way, like he's about to go have fun. Like he's about to go to a party, you know, to his party. That's his party. Uh, congratulations. I love it. Thank you it. so much. Thank you. Great. How is your sister? She's great. How she's old is great. she? Uh, she's 16 and a half months, actually almost 17. Uh, do you play for her? Yeah. yeah Does do. she like it or? Yeah. yeah. Firstly, How? she was not so excited, but now she likes it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. You know, I remember, I don't know if you remember, because it's mm -hmm. been a while, uh, that last time, Hauser and Pablo, like a year ago, at Virtuosos, had a very good time. Like, they were almost dancing, bossa nova, you know? They were, like, yeah. <laughs> having such a good time. I saw by their, their facial impressions that they had a pretty good time. Yeah. Uh, tonight as well. Mm -hmm. So oh, right. let's <laughs> ask Hauser, what do you think? Hauser first? Yeah, of course. Yeah, I can see he's smiling. So let's ask Hauser. What do well, you... we had fun again. <laughs> you that's always good. make us smile. Well, that's great to hear. Yeah. Glad to I hear mean, that. <laughs> you are improving. Each year you get better, so mm -hmm. we are very proud of you. Oh, thank you. And that was a fantastic performance. It's yeah, great so it's here. a real pleasure to listen. Yeah. Someone so young, but already feeling very comfortable on the stage. So, <laughs> congratulate you. That was thank a you, very good you. performance. Thank you. Trying my best. <laughs> <laughs> so now let's see if Pablo agrees. We usually agree on everything. Uh, we have very, very <laughs> similar musical taste and observation. We are and part of same coin, right? Yeah. <laughs> I loved it. Uh, it was very, very engaging. Uh, you were, uh, you were part of the whole orchestra. You were communicating with the conductor. You were communicating with the concertmeister. You were making music with them. There were a few spots where you know you really need to be paying attention to the conductor in those retardandos, and you were really with him. And I really appreciate that because that shows maturity. I loved also how you greet everyone. You express your gratitude to them, and that shows also your personality on a stage because music in the end is an act of generosity, and you show it to today in a beautiful way. So yeah, thank you. Yeah, thank you so much. Thank you so much. Great. Dimash, <laughs> it's your first time seeing Andre on yes, this yes. stage in Virtuosos. How did you like it? I just enjoyed it. I just oh, enjoyed it. Right. It was <laughs> fantastic. It was amazing. And I think you can say the biggest musician in the world. I believe it. I trust it. Well, thank you. <laughs> I'm so proud of you. Uh, you know, we, I've been following your journey for some time and it's wonderful to see you after some time and to see what, you, what your journey been and a uh, well-chosen piece also for this competition. Uh, you have something which is hard to express, but you took us on a journey. We talk about storytelling and I really felt it, you know, uh, it was a story and I was imagining what is happening and I was there with you. So wonderful. I'm, I'm so happy and so proud. Thank you so much. Great. <laughs> You're an extraordinary musician you are, you know. You are not only playing, you really have doing a performance, you know, and uh, really you convince everybody. Yeah, thank you so much. I was so impressed by the performance. You're humble because you know you're so good. You know, I mean, his soul breathes through the instrument. And even though he performs as a soloist, he was part of the whole ensemble. They were perfect. I mean, I don't know how many times they rehearsed this piece. I have no idea how many times, you know. He can play it a hundred times, but when you have to play together, it's a different thing, you know. Thank you. I think also the shows, let's say, of the piece is very important because I like played this piece before, so yeah. You, I get it. Just take the compliment. You're great. Okay, I, I bravo, mean, bravo. <laughs> bravo. Oh, thank you, thank you. You can go and thank rest. You. Thank yeah. you so much. Thank you so much. The jury actually surprised me because they told me that they really liked my performance, that they really enjoyed it, that they felt the happiness I gave to them. Yeah, so I'm very happy that they liked it. So Pablo, tell me, what was like your impression of this young boy? Wasn't it wonderful? I How mean, about I his can... passion? How I... about his passion? Uh, yeah, definitely. And I think this, uh, there is a difference between the other contestants that they were 15 years old and he's 17 years old. And I think it's critical, those two years, those two, three years during the teenagers, time that makes a difference because you can feel uh, something musically more mature yeah. uh, in a 17 year old than in a 15 which is a matter of time you know i think the other contestants they are going to get to this level in two years when they experience more life when they go through puberty and they can grow as human beings 
he felt very confident and relaxed. Okay, this is the time uh, where you give points to Andre. So please make good decisions, okay? Thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh, wow. really? thank you. Great play. Congratulations. We thank love you guys this so much. Great. Fantastic yeah, really. performance. Oh, yes. Thank you so much. Yes, absolutely. Actually, I never do that. But now I saw colors. <laughs> I was imagining a beautiful painting. Painting, absolutely. Yeah. I saw beautiful, wonderful colors. Oh, wow. Somehow, which I usually don't don't see. <laughs> so, do you see some colors, or do you have a, a, a picture in your head, or is it just uh, like a spontaneous thing? Actually, I imagine like two birds oh. getting uh, a conversation between each other, and That's yeah, great. I think so. Yeah. That's I think great. it's very o also helpful depending. to work with pictures in your mind while playing. A spring story was it for me? Absolutely, in this nice winter. So <laughs> thank you very much. Thanks to virtuosos, harpists have delighted us with many angelic performances over the years. And we are so lucky that one of them is returning to us this year. Moreover, if I can say so, one of my all-time favorites is coming to our stage right now. 12-year-old Zarina Zaradna not only enchanted us with her amazing harp performance in 2020, but also showed off her dancing skills. Yes, I remember we did some splits backstage. She was really good. My name is Zarina Zaradna. I'm from Poland. I'm 12 years old and I play the harp. I live in Poznań, but I learn harp online because my teacher lives in Warsaw. Music is really important in my life. In harp, I love technique, sound, and two harps remind me an angel. Zarina, hello. Welcome to the show. I was in Virtuoso four years ago. I was really happy that I have positive comments from jury members. You really made the harp sing in just such a natural way. Really Angelica play. And I think we are all amazed by you. i also really happy to meet Ida again. Last time we have some dance move because we both really like dancing. Bravo! That's great, bravo! Do you want me to do a split too? <laughs> Give me a five. Then I think that my sounding and technique is better. I have better stage presence. I feel I can communicate with the audience better now. Ah, Zarina, welcome to us, to the Pandom Philharmonie, come. I really enjoy to play with this orchestra. The musicians are great, and the conductor is really kind. Darling, you are so fantastic. We were all dreaming. <laughs> I think that he focuses me a lot. <laughs> and he helps me to give the best of myself. You are amazing, beautiful. I was really excited to meet my mentor, Peter, because I knew in last year he was a mentor of another harpist girl. He is really sympathetic to me. Just be careful for the rhythm. So it's like, tan, ta 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 tan, ta 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 tan. Just don't be hurry, enjoy in every second. I'm so proud to be here again, and uh, I'm happy also to be a mentor for the harpist again. This is perfect. Rob. Yes. Yeah, one more time. Nice, bravo. I think Zarina is really a great player. She immediately understood uh, my instructions. Whispering, whispering. Like you are flying with her. You're flying, you are flying. Paganini is one of the best uh, violin. Uh, uh, virtuosos, and I think on harp it sounds also amazing, and I think it's the perfect choice uh, for the, for the TV show. This time I'm really happy to my family is with me. It gives me joy, and I feel safe. In the future, I want to be a professional harpist. For me, the most important thing to perform for this jury. I would like to enjoy my performance and giving a memorable concert to audience. On stage, Zarina Zaradna from Poland.
Rosalina. Mesmerizing, <laughs> mesmerizing. It's, um, it's like, it's a different world. Absolutely incredible. Um, but not only um, you bring joy to us here, <laughs> but you bring joy to a lot of people who really need this joy, because I heard that you play at nursing homes sometimes. Yes, sometimes, Can yes. Can you tell me, how does that look like? No. Sometimes I help out at the elderly home. Playing music there brings me great joy. A few years ago, I used to do it more often, but now I do it less and less. Instead, I'm more involved in participating in charity events, and that's how I help. Well, that's it. Yeah, as Zarina said that she loves to help, um, and she performed many times at um, uh, elderly people's home, and it's, it's very special. I think it's very touching to see a person who gives something like that, this comfort. And I'm so happy you're, you're my Polish pride here. Um, I would love to ask uh, Placido Domingo Jr. for your opinion, this performance. Thank you very much. Above all, dziękuję. It's a very difficult instrument. You look so gracious and so wonderful playing it, you know, mm -hmm. that it just seems like it's part of you. And uh, the sound that you get out of it, out of it is fascinating. And uh, I think it's, it's beautiful. But like I said, I admire the way you play with the instrument and the way you, you make it sound. Because I, I don't think I would be able to hit, you know, the right string any time, you know. So all my respect and my admiration because it looks like a very difficult instrument to play, very yeah. difficult. So yeah. thank you very much and congratulations. Hauser, how did you feel? Yeah, congratulations. You gave a really powerful performance. You created a special atmosphere and you draw us to your world of magical sounds. So well done. Thank I, you. I have to say that thank you very much. I think it would be enough for Zarina to just sit next to the harp because she looks beautiful next to it and then she plays. So it's, it's, it's just purely incredible to see this kind of uh, talent to me. I wonder what Gabriela thinks. Zarina, uh, we see you growing and you're very angelic as we, as we spoke. But this year you brought a different yourself. You know, you grew up. You're like this little lady. I can't believe you're 12. And also this piece showed a different colors and different timbre and different dynamics. You play so well, the soft part, and then the more energetic and passionate. I mean, you're in full control of the instrument. It, it seems like you're in this one body. You know, 12, you communicate with the orchestra, with the conductor. I'm amazed. And I just hope you come, you, you'll join us at our festival. I, I would be happy to invite you and please come and play for our audience in the Czech Republic. Thank you. Thank you very much. I guess I'm going to the Czech Republic too. I have such a busy schedule with you guys. I don't know how I'm going to make it to all of these concerts. Um, Pablo. <laughs> I, I saw you nodding uh, with every single word that Gabby was saying. I mean, I, I play the guitar, so I understand so well what it takes to produce a sound out of one string with your fingers. And I was really mesmerized by the wide range of dynamics. And uh, you were able to bring all this poetic silence and, and really beautiful, soft sounds out of it. But then you would go all the way to really passionate and, and bring in uh, the whole sound of each string. So I was really impressed by it. And um, when I was seven years old, uh, I went to the stage for the first time. And after that, I started going to nursing homes with my mom. Mm. And I still remember, you know, those smiles of the people that listened to me. And when I heard that you are doing the same, that really, moved me and brought me back to those times and brought me all those memories. I discovered the true purpose of music when I went to the nursing homes. And it's an act of generosity. It's sharing, bringing joy, hope, light, 
And uh, the spirit that you have when you play the instrument is something that inspires the world. So continue doing what you are doing. Uh, the maturity of your playing is outstanding. Continue bringing joy to the world. Thank you. Mm. Thank you. Like a princess, like a princess yeah. from yeah. fairy tale. Yeah. Yes. Like Zarina, angel. I'm a big fan of yours. And you and your mom, because she said her mom always helps her, you're a great team. So keep doing this, what you're doing, and bringing this beautiful joy to the world with your music, okay? Bravo. Thank you, Kohana. Bravo. I think I'm satisfied because I play great. I couldn't believe that Gabriela invited me to Harry Festival. I'm so glad and grateful. I can't wait to perform there. Please give uh, your points uh, for Zarina Zaradna. The sheets, are, as usual, are in front of you. The score is from 1 to 10. Congratulations, dear Zarina. How does it feel for you to perform here at the Music Academy and to be with us now here? <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> <laughs> Wonderful. I don't know what to say. It. Like, I have no big emotion. Like, I'm so happy. <laughs> you have to be happy after yes. this performance, I think. Do you have anything else today that brings you luck? Family. Family. That's, that's, the that's, that's the most important. That's the most important thing. You are a star. Thank you. Last week, two of our judges, Maestro Domingo and Dimash, sang a duet. And this time, we would like to present you the duet of Hauser and Pablo Sainz Viegas.
We will be right back. In the meantime, please visit our website and follow us on Facebook. From now, I'm your fan. I'm really surprised that this is a really difficult piece to play. I'm very proud of you. You developed a lot, really a lot. I'm crying. You are the violinist of the 21st century. I have no words. You are really insane. Your passion, your emotion. The Virtuoso's Visegrad 4 Plus Final is already underway. Two more contestants will take to the stage in front of our prestigious jury to reveal the national winners. In addition, one of the world's most famous songs will be brought to life in a fantastic joint production with a never before seen formation and instrumentation. We are back with the final of the Virtuosos Visegrad 4 Plus. Tonight, we'll select the country winners of Hungary, the Czech Republic, Slovakia, Poland, and two special guests from Ukraine. The competition will continue very soon, but first, let's see what the best ones can win. The prize for the winners from the five countries, in addition to the gross 5,000 euro cash prize, is a home studio sound system by ADM Audio. The winners and special prize recipients of the show shall perform with Concerto Budapest at the Grand Hall of the Academy of Music. Additionally, numerous other concert engagements and special awards will be granted. The prize for the runners-up is a Holohazy porcelain violin and a concert performance with the Hungarian Radio Symphony Orchestra at the Grand Hall of the Academy of Music. And our next competitor's career started at the age of eight here in the Virtuosos. You could say he grew up with the Virtuosos and since then his name has become almost synonymous with the show. Seven years have passed since his first performance. He's now 15 years old and has become a real teenager, but his talent continues to soar. Moreover, he's not only an outstanding talent in music, imagine he came to us directly from Thailand, where he participated in a math competition and interrupted his trip solely for the sake of virtuosos. My name is Theo Gertler. I'm 15 years old and I come from Slovakia. I play the violin and I play the violin because I, I love, always have something new to do. That's, that's the thing I love about violin. 
I'm here at this competition for the fourth time. I'm very lucky to, to have, have this uh, virtuoso. You have such a charisma on the stage. It really has been following me through my life. And it has a special meaning. Bravo. Bravo. Thank you very much. Since I was here the first time, when I was eight, actually, of course, a lot happened. There has been so many concerts that I just enjoyed. One of the main ones is, of course, with Andrea Bocelli. That was, that was really great. Basically, also all the concerts with Maestro, Placido Domingo, that just every single one is a great experience. With Maestro Placido Domingo, we, we have really have a, a special relationship. I love playing uh, with him and I love making music with him and just spending time with him. It's just, just so, so good. Many things changed, but the main personality of me has never changed. When I was younger, the music meant, uh, what, what the music meant for me was just pure happiness. But now, the music for me, it means much, much more. Hello, Theo. Hello. How, How are, are you? you? I'm very good. Long time. Exactly. I know uh, Mr. Bugani Gergay for, for a very long time. Let's listen to it a bit, okay. yeah? Exactly. And we have been to many concerts together. It is, in a way, uh, easy to be a kind of a wonder child. But it is very difficult to become a wonder adult. After the first phrase, I wanted to ask, there is this A minor chord. Yeah, at the very, very uh, high uh, register. Yeah. And after there is a second phrase and you're connecting them. Of course. Maybe, maybe there would be a, a place to have a, like a breathe. Okay. Yeah, okay. yeah. can we try? Yes, this is more, much more credible. Well, his focus and determination has been uh, outstanding throughout the years. You also can make some contact sometimes with, with, a, with a conductor or some other musicians. It, it, it gives a good impression because you're sometimes playing just yourself. Thank Don't you. be too serious. Thank you. I think Every musician's dream is on the stage, share everything that he has, all the story. And that's every musician's dream show, mine too. On stage, Theo Gertler from Slovakia.
After this performance, you can do whatever you want. <laughs> Monsieur, why are you escaping from me? Not so easy, not so easy. You think you can play and run? No, no, not in this show. First of all, I almost didn't recognize you. Um, I met Tao when he was, you were a boy and you're not a boy anymore. You're a teenager. You're like a man, a young man. It's incredible. But changing the subject for a second, what happened in Thailand? Did you win the math competition? Well, I actually got a bronze medal, so uh, it was kind of oh. close, though. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Who are you? Uh, I'm Theo Gertler. I'm, uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm, yeah, I, I'm a violinist, and I'm, I'm trying my best. You're trying your yes. best. Oh. Thank you. Uh, Maestro Placido Domingo, do you think the trying my best worked out for Tell? What? I, I just cannot talk. I, I am crying, you know? Wow. And I cannot talk about him because, I mean, I know him already for seven years, you know, of eight. And, uh, I mean, that child is now an adolescent which has gone Oh my God, I think that Andras could be the best one to talk about all his art. The emotion that I feel. Probably you are the violinist of the 21st century. Yes. So, Thank you. Wow. yes, I cannot have better words, just I'd like to hear you as much as possible and probably we can play together one day again. Yes, After again, last year. Again, 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 <laughs> <Yeah. yes. laughs> So, thank you. I have no words, I have no words. You are really insane. Your passion, your emotion, your all technical skills, it was amazing. It's a, such a honor to be here. And uh, we need to come to Kazakhstan. We need to do a lot of concerts all over the world. And uh, I hope you become one of the most, most, most famous musicians in our history. God's give you this talent. Mm. And uh, your parents, your family did for you a lot of support. So you need to feel this responsibility. I think uh, you need to share you, your talent with all worldwide audition. I cannot imagine in the future 
when you grow up, how you can play? <laughs> I cannot imagine. I cannot imagine. Just you know, I can. It's real. Somebody can better play than you right now. In your age, 15 years old. From now, I'm your fan. You're amazing. Beautiful words, Dimash. Thank you so much. So please take all of this amazing advice and really thank your parents or your family because they really gave a lot. We can see this here on the stage. So bravo again. And now you can really go, okay? You. you can really run. Bravo. 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 I felt very good on stage. It was such a great feeling. Like I always say, it can always be better, of course. But this time, I'm, I'm, I'm really, really happy how it was. I, I really loved it. The fact that Maestro cried and, and that he said what, what he said, it was, it, was a, it was a great feeling. Then I just realized that something that good never happened to me in my life. He's a yeah. smart boy. Well, maybe he will somehow put all of this together. He's very smart. Maybe that's why he's so good at music, because he's also so intelligent, so smart, and so good at math. Definitely. You know? I agree. Why are you okay, looking at so me? Okay, so five, <laughs> looking at you. Five plus five <laughs> is ten. Uh. Uh, that I know. So if you want to give your points right now, this is the moment. <laughs> oh, my. Bravo. Bravo. Bravo, bravo. Nice. Show. Nice to see you. Yeah. I'm so happy that we had so many performances together. How did you feel today? Thank you. I mean, I, I felt great. Um, I felt very, very good on the stage. It was, it was really a good, good experience. Uh, when I started the first sounds, it was, it was very, very open and very nice. And then I just felt safer and safer, and then I just, just loved and enjoyed the piece. That was very good. You made Maestro Placido Domingo cry. Did you realize that? I did. I was really touched. It really moved me. So. <laughs> and, and now you can hear the words of the girl, okay? <laughs> Please. Well, uh, you've played okay. <laughs> oh, thank you. <laughs> That's it. Beautiful, wise, and determined. Although only 15 years old, she has already given concerts all around the world. Her parents are pianists, so they kind of paved the way for her. Hungarian viewers met her for the first time in 2016, where then, at seven years old, she charmed the jury completely. Two years later, she marched to the finals and bagged a special prize. The family has given concerts in Austria, Egypt, and some Arab countries where they have a star status. But you will soon see that wherever her career takes her, part of this young lady's heart still beats for Paige. Please welcome Mariam Abuzara from Hungary. My God, my God. Music was always a huge part of my life. The first time I applied to Virtuosos was in 2016. You've made it into the next round. I'm Mariam Abu Zahra. I'm 15 years old and I play the violin. Since four years, I'm studying at the University for Music and Performing Arts in Professor Dora Schwarzberg's class. A bit flat, but that's okay. How's your schedule now? How much do you practice a day? I try to do four or five hours during school, and then in the summer I can do more, six, seven hours. Wow. Show me your pinky. Oh, <laughs> that's longer than mine. My mom is Hungarian, my dad is Egyptian but I was born in Germany, and now I live in Vienna since four years. Hi, we are just leaving from Zona Quarter. We are on our way, we'll be right there. I love coming back to Page. Eat a big part of my family, including my grandma, lives here in Page, And my grandpa's family also lives here, but he lives in Budapest. My darling, here you are. <laughs> The whole family is here. I really need to see them. I am very proud of her. Both of my parents are musicians. They're pianists. My older sister, Amira, is a um, violinist. So I always saw her practicing and 
my whole family making music, so I can't imagine my life without music. Please welcome Mariam Abuzara. Hi. Since then, many things have happened. I was admitted to the um, University of Music and Performing Arts in Vienna at the age of 10. Beside that, I also um, visit many master classes and festivals. Like the Verbia Festival, I was invited as the Artist of Promise. I decided to take part in this year's Virtuosos because they present the young talents on an international level. Also, they have many viewers in television and online. Have fun on stage and play Jokuzo. <laughs> I'm not nervous, but very excited to have the chance to perform this beautiful violin concerto by Brahms. On stage, Abu Zara Mariam from Hungary.
Mariam, that was extraordinary, beautiful. How do you feel? It's such an honor that I can play in this beautiful hall, this beautiful concerto. I, I'm just happy. It's a dream come true? Yes. Yeah, I think so. It feels like one, especially when I can see the spark in your eye. Why did you um, pick this piece in particular? Because I heard there's a story behind that. Yes, so um, of course, Brahms Concerto is one of the greatest. Brahms loved Hungarian music, and I think we can hear it very well, mm -hmm. um, especially in your third movement. It's just so joyful and mm. yeah, I just love it. It makes you feel good too. But tell me um, a few words about your grandma, because she also has a special place in your heart. Yes. Um, can I say it in Hungarian? Of course. Yes. Um, Thank you so much for always being there for me and with me and for always helping me. And I look forward to seeing you again. Mm. That's beautiful. I hope that the judges are as proud as your grandma and as me, because we are your biggest fans. Let me ask Hauser first. I saw that he was really energetic during the whole piece, so I'm sure he will say a lot of words of encouragement. Mariam, wow, that was fantastic. I'm really surprised that this is a really difficult piece to play. And you did it flawlessly at such a young age. You should really be proud of yourself. Thank you. So I'm really impressed by your skills, your virtuosity. And because you are such an accomplished violinist at such a young age, I think you can now start playing more, try to tell a story even more, show even more character. Ta -ta -ta -tum, bum, bum, bum. Show more contrast, the passages, tell a story, try to go to even more extremes and show more characters and different colors and textures. But you are on a really right path and in a few years you will be one of the great violinists of the world. Thank you but very I, much. I saw she was doing that, but, but, but she was like this. She was like, you know, moving with she it. She can do it even more. Uh, that's a, okay, so if Hauser says so, it means that you are like next level, right? That you can already have this whole pa 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 going on. Let's see what Ondras uh, would like to say to you, Mariam. It was a gorgeous performance, Mariam. I'm a violinist, <laughs> you know. <laughs> and uh, this is one of the really most difficult, tricky piece for violin. It's really, and you played in a, such a high level with full confidence, faultless technique, fantastic intonation. So I could not wish more. <laughs> so it was really, really beautiful. Are you ready to hear a few words from Maestro Placido Domingo? Yes. <laughs> okay, please. I was uh, happy that when you were seven years old, I was conducting you, and my God, you are really a great, great performer, and we are very happy that you are playing this music that is so close to Hungary. Mm. Thank, you. Thank you so much. The final words I will leave to nobody else uh, than Erika. Oh. I'm very proud of you and uh, it's really a gift to see how you are growing up in front of us, very virtuous, and you developed a lot, really a lot. Not just your dress, you are also glittering in front of us. <laughs> Thank you very much. Congratulations. Really, you were amazing. Thank you for this beautiful performance. Well done. I felt really good on the stage. The atmosphere was very nice. I was very happy when Mr. Keller gave me a chance to play with him the Brahms, the full concerto. Attention. My dear, it was beautiful. Fantastic to see the family here supporting you. I think it helps. How did you feel? I think you feel this energy when you are performing on stage. Yes, I mean, my father flew here from Egypt today. Yes, <laughs> uh, I mean, to, to hear the Brahms in this hall is a very yes. special connection. And also that Mariam performed this piece in such an age, it's incredible. It, it was is. really amazing experience. It is. We will soon count the votes and the winners will be revealed, but first, let's see a very special performance. The Virtuosos production is committed to peace at all times. And this is what the next cross-border performance is meant to symbolize. A world-famous song in a very special new interpretation by composer 
Peter Pejcik. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome on the stage of Virtuosos some members of the jury, mentors, the Pannon Philharmonic Orchestra, together with our special young Ukrainian musicians. Let's heal the world with the help of music, the common language of humanity. A song that is known all over the world. Everybody plays the songs we know their own way. A song that has changed the world. With mashing up, Michael Jackson's healed the world with different classical motives. We can show how these different elements fit together. Tonight, in a special arrangement. Moreover, it does have a very serious message that we struggle with the same problems as in the 70s, 80s. Hopefully, once we can heal the world, we can all be brothers and there will be no enemies. Written exclusively for the virtuosos, performed by the participants of the Virtuoso Show. There's a place in your heart, and I know that it is love. And this place, it was brighter than tomorrow. And if you really try, you'll find there's no need to cry. In this place, you'll feel there's no heart or sorrow. There are ways to get there, if you care enough for the living. Make a little space, make a better place. Heal the world, make it a better place for you and for me and the type of my brains. There are people dying if you carry enough for the living. Make a better place for you and for me. If you want to know why There's a love that cannot lie Love is strong, it only cares of joyful giving If we try, we shall see In this bliss we cannot feel Fear of dread, we stop existing and start living
por los niños. important to think about our future, about children growing up in peace and safety. Think about what you can do in this matter, because children are our future. One of the most important goals of Virtuosos is to collaborate professionally with music teachers and music schools. In addition, we have established an award called the Best Music Teacher Award, which is given each year to a music teacher whose student or students consistently achieve outstanding results. This year, this award is provided by the MVM Group, the main sponsor of this year's Virtuosos, to the selected music teacher. Therefore, I kindly ask Karol Matrai, CEO of MVM, and Marian Peller, founder of the Virtuosos, to present the MVM Best Music Teacher Award to Professor Dora Schwarzberg, who is a professor at the Vienna University of Music and Performing Arts. And we have two excellent talents in the Virtuosos who you may already know. Mariam Abuzara and Amira Abuzara are her students. So let's welcome with a big round of applause Professor Dora Schwarzberg, who has just arrived. And now the time has come. Here are the finalists of Virtuoso's V4+. Plus. Welcome them with a round of applause. <laughs> Katarina Spetsova and Andrei Tomai from the Czech Republic. Zarina Zaradna and Małgorzata Cieszko from Poland. <laughs> Nina Boczkajowa and Theo Getlet from Slovakia. <laughs> Mariam Abuzakra, Adam Bolok, and Ali Lugosi from Hungary. Brava! <laughs> and Amelia Anisovic and Timothy Zerebcov from Ukraine. Brava. <laughs> now I would like to ask Maestro Placido Domingo, the head of the jury, for the final words for tonight's competition. This is the seventh year that I've been following the Virtuosos production and the young talents who have emerged from it. Slowly, a generation has grown up. Boys became men, little girls became young ladies, and they have made incredible progress since. There is no other project like this in the world for young instrumentalists. Such talent management project as virtuosos. I am very, very happy and proud to be part of this, to see your progress. It is a huge responsibility for us as judges, but also for you, because you are the future of classical music. But I know and believe that you are worthy representatives of this wonderful world. We have seen 11 competitors on stage today, some of whom I have met before, some of whom I know well. Yet, time and time again, 
You can surprise me. You can impress me with your growing talent. Finally, allow me to address the two new contestants, Amelia and Timothy. You are the wonderful peace ambassadors of a terrible historical age. You have my heartfelt love and my greatest appreciation for being able to bring such beauty and such positive energy to the world in the midst of the war that is raging in your homeland. Your families and your whole country are proud of you. I am sure of it. I wish you and all of you, dear contestants, a very, very happy, peaceful and successful life. Whatever the outcome of our scoring, you should know that there are no losers here. You are all winners. And ovation to them. Gentlemen, my fabulous young musicians, the time has come. We will find out who the winners of Virtuosos V4 Plus are. But first, I have, or rather somebody has, a special surprise for you. We have a special prize from Maestro Placido Domingo, which will be a concert with Maestro himself. And the winner of this very special prize is Adam Bollock from Hungary! And the prize will be presented by Maestro's son, Placido Domingo Jr. Please welcome. And of course, Maestro, together, if you'd like to, of course. <laughs> Maestro Placido Domingo and Placido Domingo Jr. Special award of Virtuosos B4+. Adam Bolog. Thank you, gentlemen. Adam, I have to say, stay over here. Because tonight is very, very magical. And you received another special prize from Erika Miklosha. Erika. It's also a concert with Erika. Congratulations. And we have another surprise because we have one more special prize tonight. This special prize is from our judge, Andras Keller. And it's also a concert together with Andras Keller. How special the prize is, you know best. So now, the winner of this special prize is... Mariam Abuzakra. Mariam, welcome to stage. Andras Keller, please present the award to Mariam. Congratulations to you, Mariam and Adam. And now, after this amazing start of this award ceremony, let's go straight to the winners. The winners of Virtuosos V4+. Now, ladies and gentlemen, young talents, let's see which one of the two Czech Republic contestants wins the super final, which is the grand prize of 5,000 euros and of course other special prizes and special opportunities to perform. The winner 
of Virtuoso's V4 Plus from the Czech Republic is... Andrzej Toman! It feels great. And the fact that I'm between the six winners of this competition and also it feels uh, great because I didn't expect anything to happen, so that's unbelievable for me. I hope that my parents will be uh, proud of me. I also hope that they, are, uh, that they have enjoyed my performance. The prize money probably gonna invest in my music career. And the prize will be presented by Roy Fu, our Chinese investor. Welcome to the stage. Our Chinese investor in the Virtuosos Holding. Thank you so much, Roy. Thank you. Ladies, let's see which one of the two Polish contestants wins the super final. The winner of Virtuosos V4 Plus from Poland is Zarina Zaradna. And the prize will be presented by the head of the jury, Maestro Placido Domingo. I don't know how, how to say it because I'm so happy. Uh, all of positive emotion. <laughs> and also a special gift uh, that I have flowers from Dimash. Winning this prize means everything now. I think I'd like to buy an electric harp from the prize. I'm really happy to I could return to this competition. Zarina Zaradna from Poland, the winner of Virtuosa's V4 Plus. Okay, now it's time for Slovakia. Which one of the two amazing musicians will be the winner of Virtuosos V4 Plus? The winner from Slovakia is... Theo Gertler. And the prize will be presented by one and only Hauser. from Slovakia, the winner of Virtuosa's V4+. It feels really good that all the work that I put into it just turned out to be a win. It, it, it's really good feeling. I love it, and I never experienced such a great feeling in my life. Let's see which one of the three Hungarian contestants wins the super final of Virtuosa's V4+. The winner from Hungary is Ali Lugosi. <laughs> Ali, congratulations. And Andras Keller will present the award for Ali. Welcome to the stage, Andras. I never imagined. As I heard my name, I really felt as in 2014, as I won the first TV show. The prize was presented by uh, Andras Keller. He's a very special person for me. It was a much, much more special prize. So um, I'm really happy and I'm excited for the new adventures with the Virtuosos moving forward next 10 years. Now let's see which one of the two Ukrainian contestants wins the Super Final. Based on the votes of our great judges, the winner from Ukraine is... As we have mentioned, this year 
We invited some young musicians to the show that had to leave their homeland, Ukraine, due to the war that is raging in their country. As in a war, no one can win here in Virtuosos. We would like every single one of you to be the winner tonight. So we decided not to choose one winner from among our special Ukrainian guests, but we shared the first prize between them to support their musical studies, even if they have to live away from their home. So congratulations to you, Timofi and Amelia. You are both our winners tonight. And each one of you wins three thousand euros tonight. Congratulations. And this very special prize will be presented by Marian Peller, who is the founder and producer of Virtuosos. And our amazing judge, Harvey Goldsmith, welcome to the stage. I feel marvelous because I won. It's a wonderful moment in my life, one of the brightest. Thank you so much. I'm so happy about it. I am very happy to have received two awards. One is made of glass and the other is a violin, which is also my favorite because it is not only a toy, but also an instrument. You can play it. But as you know, the runners-up in our show do not leave empty-handed. They all will receive Holohazi porcelain violin and a chance to perform with the symphonic orchestra of the Hungarian radio. So we want to see you here, and the prizes will be presented by Zoltan Peto, Media Service Support and Asset Management Fund Directed of Content. Here they are. Thank you so much. Brava, brava. Thank you so much. Here they are! Thank you! So now, all we have left is to welcome one more time on the stage the winners of Virtuoso's V4+. Plus. Give them a huge round of applause. Andre Toman! Zarina Zaradna! Theo Gertlet! Ali Lugosi! Amelia Nisovic! And, of course, Timothy! This was Virtuoso's V4+. Plus. Thank you for being here. Thank you for sharing your passion with us. And I mean it to you, young contestants, to you, dear mentors, fantastic musicians and professionals, of course, amazing judges, and everybody who is a part of this fantastic production. Thank you and see you soon, which is next year, I guess. And keep on speaking the language of music. Bye-bye. <laughs>
The main sponsor of the show is MVM Group. Virtuosos is sponsored by BMW, ADM Audio, and Met Group. Sponsors of the show and the talents 